James wine, these wines are next. Famille Perrin, these are called Nature. We have a white wine, a rosé wine, 2019 vintage. A red wine is a 2018 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you my thoughts and perspectives on these wines. So of course a very well-known family here, they own the Chateau de Beaucastel, uh, producers of Chateau Neuf de Pop. Let me introduce the first wine. So I'm going to introduce the first white wine here. Now the Famille Perrin are pioneers of organic viticulture in France since the 1950s. So not just something that happened you know, in the past decade, it's been happening for quite some time. And now they cultivate more than 300 hectares in the Rhone Valley family owned and crafted and um, it's also saying that wine has been produced in the Rhone Valley for 2,000 years. Now all these are under the appellation of Cotoron. So the vinification of this wine is the following. The grapes are harvested early in the morning to preserve freshness. After pressing, the juices are cold settled to remove suspended particles. The alcoholic fermentation takes place in stainless steel tanks and control temperatures at 16 degrees Celsius, 61 degrees Fahrenheit and the wines are then racked and aged in stainless steel tanks until bottling. So this is a superbly fresh, beautiful, gorgeous wine. And now the wine grapes on this are, I don't have the exact percentage breakdown, but it's Grenache Blanc, Viognier Roussan, and Massan. A uh, white Rhone, I think they're just completely fresh and beautiful and gorgeous. So on this, again, the, the freshness quality comes through nicely. And so this is giving notes of white and golden stone fruit, a bit of fruit and fennel notes, flowers, and moistened uh, mineral as well. Exhilarating. Next, the palate characterization. So white peach notes, hint of apricot, sweet fennel, and oyster shell. This is a 92 point wine out of 100 points. And next is the rosé wine. Now this is a blend of Grenache Noir, Syrah, Cinceau, and Movedra. Love the coloration. It's, um, you know, I'm not gonna compare this to uh, Provence, but very, very light style, very pale salmon colorization. Gorgeous scent characterization, but I'll tell you about that in a moment. But first I'm gonna talk about the vinification. Now the fermentation is the following. The grapes are harvested early in the morning and close proximity of the vines to the Grand Prébois cellars allows grapes to be pressed straight after picking. After pressing, the juices are cold, subtle to remove suspended particles. The alcoholic fermentation takes place in stainless steel tanks and lasts for about 15 days. And the temperatures are regulated between 14 and 16 degrees Celsius, which is about 57 to 61 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the wines are then racked, aged in stainless steel until bottling. We're very much enjoying the freshness on this wine. This strawberry note, uh, dried lemon peel, flowers, and moist stones. Very nice and very highly nuanced. Next, the palate characterization. Aptly dry. I think this is a, a fantastic, gorgeous characterized rosé wine from uh, Cote de Rhone. And I love the dryness and yet expressiveness. So mountain strawberry note, apricot for freshness, crushed seashells and hint of fennel on this. This is a 92 point wine out of 100 points. I think it's an exceptional price point, exceptional wine. And this is a, a wine that I'm going to enjoy with charcuterie and cheeses because I think it just has such a beautiful dryness to it and uh, expressiveness to this wine. It's pretty sophisticated. For $14.99, you're getting a nicely crafted, beautiful bottle of rosé wine from the Cote Rhone. Next is the Rouge wine of the family Perrin Nature. And this is, you know, I think this is a nice program because of the price point. Um, you know, again, I've said in other videos that people are, you know, telling me that they have this impression that French wines are superbly expensive and out of reach. And yes, you can find some of those, but I would also point out you, you find some really nice, beautifully well-crafted, responsive wines to the planet. So I did find a tech sheet saying that this is 95% Grenache and 5% Syrah. So this wine has the following vinification notes. That is fermentation in stainless steel tanks with temperature regulation of 150 hectoliters. So aging in tanks and foudre 25% for a year. Uh, absolutely splendid, gorgeous, and a nice snapshot of the Rhone Valley's Grenache and Syrah. So the Rhone expression is completely appreciable for your uh, you know, meal time, but it's also such a wonderful experience in terms of the white wine, the rosé, and the, you know, the rouge, uh, the red wine is to enjoy, in my opinion, at nighttime. You want your pasta bolognese, you can do this with that, or pizza, enjoy this with you know, American foods like ribs, um, burgers, but you can enjoy this with other dishes as well, Italian, French, uh, Spanish dishes, as well as Mexican food. So a lot of cuisine styles can go with this wine because I think it's just completely appreciable. 
nicely balanced and a good price point. And so when you bring price point and caring about how it's produced, such as the organic grape cultivation, I think it's a nice touch to this producer. So first of all, the nose on this is cassis, blackberry notes, a bit of suede, dried wood, as well as violets and mixed spices. Outstanding. Next, the palette characterization. Very, very nicely dry and um, a nice marriage of the Syrah to the Grenache. So an absolutely dry wine with expressive notes of blackberry confit, white pepper, bay leaf, and a bit of uh, violet notation. 92 points out of 100 points. So $14.99 per each bottle if you don't see it, ask your wine merchant to bring it in. And it's a lovely, lovely wine program and one that you're going to enjoy. So to put this in your playbook for entertaining, I think it's a nice wine uh, program to do that. Questions and comments down below. And I'd like to know your thoughts on Rhone wines, uh, your wines uh, you might have tasted from Famille Perrin, including the uh, Bocastel wines. And so let's say connected. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. You'll also find me on my podcast, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And I will see you soon. Sante.